Altverse's latest update version 1.6.1 has arrived and with it came a ton of new content and other updates. We're going to dive straight into a new event, the Backyard Big Top event, which runs from June 11th to June 24th. This event comes with some new pinata parties featuring the likes of the Magician Zombie, Fire Breathing Zombie and Zombie Monkeys. There's also some brand new carnival music composed by the very talented Voop, as well as some permanent sandbox levels that feature the new zombies. Over on the plant side, two new plants have been added. We have Maple Mechanic who is from PVZ2 China. They've used the design from PVZ2 China but the ability that has been created is completely new. So this is a manual plant that you can aim and fire gears at the zombies. When fired they will bounce vertically off objects and basically the idea is they wanted to make a cheap manual plant. This cost 300 sun so it is the cheapest in compared to the other ones in the mod. There was this idea that they wanted it to be easy to grasp but hard to master. The second new plant is Straw Burst which works exactly the same as in the vanilla PVZ2. Obviously all the attributes and other things will probably have been reworked so it balances with the rest of Altverse but yeah apart from that the plant is exactly the same. Both plants are available to purchase with coins. Next up we have weekly challenges. They have finally arrived in Altverse. These have been in the works for a number of years so the these will be available to everyone and there will be new challenges to play every week. You'll be able to earn gauntlets so you can trade them for prizes. They have actually had some code rework so if you had some gauntlets before this update they'll be now classed as old gauntlets so you can head to the store and trade the old gauntlets for new ones. All of these challenges will have a timer. This is to add to the fun and difficulty but it's also introducing a new way to earn prizes by speed running. So if you are in the Altverse Discord server you will be able to post your best times in there and you can earn rewards based on how fast you've completed a challenge. So these rewards will be dished out each week and this can include things like in-game currency, discord roles and unique costumes. As well as the weekly challenges there is a new mini game coming soon. This is the Fright Theatre. Again this is from PVZ2 China. So in this backyard the zombies follow paths not lanes. So it's a little bit different and you also have a three live system. You have three little pigs. As well as zombies following strict paths there's some other mechanics in here as well so for example when the first zombie on a path dies all the zombies are stunned for a brief moment and you can't plant on any of the red tiles. They wanted to stay faithful to the original midi game here but they are open to suggestions and would like some feedback on how they could improve this mode further. This mode is going to be available in kind of like a beta stage at the moment. It will be available in Friday pinata parties throughout July. The game mode will be added permanently, but this will be at some later date. Sticking with game mode, sandbox levels have also received a rework. These can now be found in the Tynus Avenue world, and these will be available after you unlock the community levels. So essentially all the levels have been reworked to be more viable for daily quests. You can now earn loot in the sandbox mode, as well this was disabled previously and there are some unique themes you'll come across now including the backyard big top. A ton of new costumes have also been added in this update. This includes costumes from the costume contest as well as some very fitting carnival and circus themed outfits which look very very cool indeed. Over to bug fixes there's a pretty huge list of changes in here so I will just highlight a few of them. So pirate captain zombies groans and parrot squeaks have have been re-added. Apparently these audio files have been missing since 2017. Sling piece projectiles no longer change when it has been buffed. Some performance issues with Sea Spill Zombie have now been resolved. Various changes to music and audio levels have been implemented and some additional secret and easter eggs have been hidden in the game. Similar story for balance changes. Again there's a big list here. This is for both levels and characters. A couple of notable ones include Homing Thistle and Cattail have been banned from a small ray of light and big wave beach wave 19. Explodovine has had its sun cost increased by 25% to 250 as it was way too OP previously. Inferno's projectiles can no longer move all types of prospector zombies. This has been done because apparently it was causing some prospectors to become invincible. Void Orchid can now be placed on sewers. Submerge Mint's water droplets now extend
extinguished fire, and Electric Pea Shooter has had its bolt attack speed increased. Like I say, there are a ton more bug fixes and balance changes, but if you do want to check them all out, I've put a link to the patch notes in the description below. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for the latest update of Ultverse. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. But other than that, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons, turn on notifications, and if you would like to support the channel further, check out my Patreon page by clicking on screen or through the link in the description. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.